Coming up on this edition of Talk of the Town, we've got Joe Sexton in here and her recent replacement, Ashley Umstadt, as the director of the chamber, talking about Witch's Brew. We also talked with Mary Beth Sills and Mitch Mazza here on the uh, CPAC production of Adam's Family coming up. And uh, Brian Wims and Zach Hopkins, a student at Meadowbrook High School, was in to talk about the Red Cross Colts Out for Blood Drive. From the U.S. Bank Studios in downtown Cambridge, Ohio, it's Talk of the Town. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. In this week's edition, we've got a few guests we're going to be talking to. And to start uh, out, we're going to talk with the chamber here in Guernsey County. And uh, we're going to talk. start with Ashley. Ashley, I'm Stott. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, Joe? Good. we got Joe and you sitting here, and everybody's going, well, why is Joe there? Well, because you're taking Joe's position at the chamber. Yeah, that's right. We are working side by side for the next couple weeks. Um, I've been there for four weeks already, and I can't believe how fast the time has gone. That's great. Um, I am with her through October 31st. I am pulling 10 years of knowledge out of her in just a short amount of time um, so I can be prepared on November 1st. Excellent. Now, you're not new to the chamber business, are you? I mean... No, I'm, I have served the Zanesville business community for the past three years. Yeah. I'm working on business marketing, networking, and sales for that community over okay. there. And, but you're from Guernsey County originally? Yeah, I, I've lived in Guernsey County my whole life, so this is home, and it's great to work home. Excellent. And we're here to talk about an event, which is brew, is what we're going to talk about. Gosh, I hope that's what we're going to talk and about. Be, <laughs> yeah, Joe's got a strange-looking hat on. <laughs> and Ashley's going to put hers on. Okay, then. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now, who would like to talk about which is brew? I'll start. Okay, because you've probably done it longer than... Ashley's been doing Yeah, it. but she's she's getting acclimated, let me tell you. Absolutely. Um, this started three years ago, and the purpose of the Witches Brew, and Brew stands for Boldly Recognizing Exceptional Women. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it. Yeah. For years see, it stood for that. See, I knew hmm. I'd teach you Excellent. something today. Yeah, I learned something new. Um, <laughs> but we really, the, the um, beginnings of this were rooted in finding a way to recognize those women in the community who mm -hmm. have given so much time and talent and you know we don't really uh, raise them up and, and recognize them enough so yeah. this does that but we do it while we're having a really great time too so of uh -huh. course we have a, a witch theme and um, everyone who attends this luncheon because we do it at a luncheon mm -hmm. um, and this year it'll be on October 25th at Theo's upstairs okay and uh, we give out awards so there are three mm -hmm. in the business category Amanda Cox Okay. Um, in service. Nothing but chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Nothing but chocolate. See, I did that. You know that. Mm -hmm. uh, Sue, <laughs> Sue Cowden for the service award. Okay. Sue. And yeah. the emerging leader is Bree Scott. Ah. Okay. And each one of them have um, accomplished fantastic things in those categories, and um, we got I think twenty two total nominations. Wow. Um, in, and uh, for all these awards, and so it was really difficult to make a choice because there are a lot of successful women. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's a secret till the night, so you're not going to tell me who has been elected or chosen this year, or you just did? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was afraid of that. I, maybe I shouldn't have, no. I was going to ask you past recipients, and I was in my oh. head thinking that's what you were giving me, but. No, 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 that's this so year. So you've, you've, you've blown it. Uh, oh, no, it's not a it's surprise not a secret? to them. They all know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We might have to re-record this whole session. No, that'll never happen. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> where were you going when I interrupted you? Oh, um, I don't know. But we, yeah. we, we, um, <laughs> we also this year for the first time are offering a scholarship. For uh, a non that's what I wanted to ask you about. I knew it was wh you know what it you is, wanted. Yeah. So that's for a non-traditional female student. So someone uh -huh. who did not go directly from high school graduation on to continue College. their education. Right. Maybe some things got in the way. Yes, um, like life. Like life, <laughs> and the individual who is receiving this award, this scholarship, is. You gonna tell me? <laughs> I can tell you, <laughs> Kayla Haynes, and I'm not sure if it's Tabler or Tabler, Tabler. but it's uh, Kayla Haynes okay. Tabler. Okay. And she is a recovering addict. Mm -hmm. um, she's a convicted felon. 
Jeez, Joe. Um, and, and she has uh, <laughs> encouraged me to tell all these things oh, about her okay. because she wants people to know yeah. what she's Success done to story. turn her, her life around. Absolutely. And she's going to Zane State. She's applied to Zane State to get okay. a, social, a degree in social work. Mm -hmm. And her goal is to continue her education and get a, a master's degree in social work. Excellent. Incredible woman. That's great. Who's really been through a lot. So That's a great thing. Th this is a great thing. And I think it's the first scholarship the Chamber has ever presented so is that we're, right? we're pretty happy for that's that that's great news yeah. yeah so it is happening like you said uh friday october 25th mm -hmm. at theo's upstairs yes. uh, 11 30 to 1 it says here yeah and we're going to open the doors at 11 we have a lot of raffles and fun things to get involved with so if if people can get a long lunch hour mm -hmm. um they can come at 11 and get involved in some of the raffles and that type of thing but the luncheon will start at 11 30. is this by invitation or who comes to this event anybody can come to this and we have a lot really? of men we have a lot of warlocks who come really and um yeah it's fabulous it's 30 dollars <laughs> a ticket we have okay. a lot of sponsors um pnc bank that want to mention them can i <laughs> <laughs> would it be all right if i mentioned yeah the go sponsor? ahead okay. go ahead pnc bank the community <laughs> bank southeastern med Muskingum Valley Health Center, Southeastern Ohio Counseling Center, Cedar Ridge, Ray and Associates, Guernsey County CDC, Fairfield Inn, AMG Vanadium, Alter Care, and Buckeye Water. Those are the great big sponsors. Yes. And thanks to all of those folks. Thanks to all of them. That's great it's stuff. It's a fabulous event. And when you stand at the room and look out all over all these witches all yeah. dressed up. Look like mountain peaks. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun. <laughs> and, and we are really serious about honoring the women. Yes. So serious and fun. Okay, good deal. Ashley, anything you want to add? We didn't say much, but just introduce you. Yeah, so no, I think congratulations on your position. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, you know, with this event, it's been so exciting to see how excited everyone is um, for this event. I had no idea what this was four weeks ago. Uh -huh. um, I'm getting she my still toes. doesn't know. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought you were. Wet. I thought you were like brewing something down the street, and I was going to get something free we to could. eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is brew. I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, what you got? Eye of Newt and all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> once again, which is brew banquet uh, Friday, October 25th down here at Theo's, 1130 uh, to 1. It's, yeah. a, lunch, it's yeah. a lunch thing. Yeah. Tickets it's are 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. Can they call you? Can they stop by? You want to want they them to can, call you? They can call us at 740-439-6688. Uh, mm -hmm. Or they can go on the website to buy tickets there. It's CambridgeOhioChamber.com. Okay. Or walk in the door right down here on Wheeling Or Avenue. walk in the door and we'd be happy to visit with you too. All right. Cool. And tell you more about it. Thank you very much for coming up, Thank Joe. You. Nice to see you, Ashley. Thank nice you, to see you again. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Talk of the Town will be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a, a great, great place, place to live, work, and, and play. play. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash yrptv and be sure to subscribe. Okay, I learned all the words. Welcome back, Talk of the Town. We've got some folks here from the uh, Cambridge Performing Arts Center, and they've got a show coming up pretty soon, Adam's Family. Interesting. What's up? Adam's You're Mary Beth Sills, aren't you? I am. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm all right. Talk so, about the show. <laughs> Adam's Family the Musical. Um, ah. It's not 
It's the typical Adams family. However, Wednesday has grown up and found love. Ah, that's what I read. And the love is a he's, typical uh, Ohio family. Oh no, he's a normal guy. He's a normal guy. Oh man, that's, that's right. going to go over not too well at the Adams family house. Well, the fireworks start flying when they come to visit. So oh, I bet. Mitch Mazza here, right? Yes, that's hey, me. Yeah, right, I play Gomez in the show. You do? I do. Cool. He was always cool. Laid back. Well, that's suave kind of guy. That's cool. That fits me pretty <laughs> well. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, so Wednesday's fallen in love. She's met this uh, this guy and uh, invited the family over for dinner so the parents can meet. Oh no, the whole family oh, yeah, comes that's, over. Yeah, oh, so uh, man. So his name is Lucas. He's played by Sam Zimmer, and uh, Lucas brings his parents over, and uh, we have a great time. Yeah. I bet sounds like a great show. <laughs> it's a great show. It's that's hilarious. great. When, when is it happening? By the way. October 11, 12, and then the following weekend. Okay. And the 13th, too. The 13th. Yeah, 11, 12, 13. Sorry. Okay. And the 18th, 19th, and 20th. 20th. And on the 12th, the first Saturday, there are two shows. One at 3 and one at 7. Okay. And on Sunday, the show is a matinee performance. It will be at 3 o'clock as well. Uh, Friday and Saturday night are both at 7, both weekends. Okay. And some of our viewers and myself, not familiar with CPAC, what's it cost to get in to see the show? It's $10 for seniors and students, $12 for adults. And what constitutes a senior? Me. How old? I think 55, 55 and or older. 55 is good. Yeah. I like that. That's the, like the Bob Evans menu. It's great. Yeah. Um, exactly. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always about that. <laughs> Starting a few years ago, I started to look into that. Um, so... So, and you're playing uh, Uncle Fester? I am Uncle Fester. No way, he was bald. He, I will be bald. <laughs> no, I am not shaving all of this uh, off. Why not? <laughs> but okay. I will be bald for the show. Cool. And I understand you had the light bulb and didn't bring it in. You got the prop with you. I have the light bulb. The light bulb will make a couple of appearances. Okay. But, yeah, I did not bring it with me. All right. Fester fail. Yeah. What else you want to talk about that the show? Tell me more about it. Well, it is a musical, so yes. you'll get to hear Fester sing. He professes his love to the moon. Oh, wow. So he has a lovely song. And then after his song, Mitch sings an incredible song to his daughter, his real daughter, who oh. plays Wednesday in the show. Um, so everybody bring handkerchiefs. Fester has to leave the building because Fester will cry. Is that right? It, it, it's a tearjerker. It's a beautiful song. Yeah, the the show is really uh, the show is really kind of about, to be honest with you, family values and love and and how everybody is really kind of all the same, yeah. no matter where, no matter if there are strange different. differences. Yeah, that's right. So um, and everyone has troubles and everyone gets together and it's a great happy ending in a kind of a kooky, spooky form yeah. of fashion the sets are uh the set is really beautiful we're working on finishing the touches on the lighting now so mm -hmm. um we've got uh, a pretty tough couple of weeks ahead of us the actors we're going to be um working really hard over the next mm -hmm. couple of weeks to to just polish it up and uh you know no one will be disappointed i promise you it's going to be a terrific show that's great and i'm i'm anxious to see it i'd love to see that thing that'd be great and um here again, tell me again when it is and when the shows are going to be and what's it cost to get in. And well, the shows again uh, October, uh, starts uh, Friday, October 11th, mm -hmm. Saturday, October 12th, two shows, one at 3 and one at 7. Okay. Um, that following Sunday, October 13th, a show at 3. And then the following weekend, Friday and Saturday night at 7. Uh, the 18th and 19th, and the last show is 20th at 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Okay. And uh, you can get tickets are on sale question. now on eventbrite.com. Okay. Just go and search Cambridge, Ohio, Adams Family, and bam, you'll find it. You'll find tickets to all the shows. Go out, buy your tickets now. Um, general seating, so buy your tickets. Uh, plug for Theo's, grab some food before the show, and sure. come on in and... Uh, and it and, is located uh, right down here. Yep, she's yeah. right yeah. down the street, yeah. right down there. Can't you can quite. also go to Lady Jane's Mercantile and <coughs> okay. get tickets in advance as well. Right next to the theater. Yep. Yes. And the box office opens one hour beforehand for tickets. Okay. Yes. They were Morticia. There are photos of Morticia and Gomez with Paw Patrol. Is that right? 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Paw Patrol. It was yeah, interesting. Yeah, that was quite an uh, afternoon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, get your tickets. Get out and see Adam's awesome. family down here at CPAC. Thank you both for coming up. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, sir. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Introducing the area's most exciting new gift shop now open in downtown Cambridge. Peace Pipes is pleased to bring you a large selection of smoking accessories as well as a wide variety of clothing, jewelry, health products and locally made gift ideas for everyone. With unbeatable prices and one-of-a-kind products, our friendly staff is here to help you seven days a week. Peace Pipes is located at 914 Wheeling Avenue in downtown Cambridge right next to the post office. Peace Pipes, waging peace on prohibition. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Hey, welcome back to Talk of the Town. And uh, at this segment, we've got uh, Brian Williams and Zach Hopkins. Uh, we're talking about Colts Out for Blood. And uh, Brian, you're with American Red Cross. Yes, I'm an account a manager with the Red Cross. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. So this event is happening in... Uh, Byesville, evidently, around Meadowbrook. What's mm -hmm. uh, what's going on? What's it all about? Well, what makes this one special is just the size and the scope of this blood drive. Um, it's the largest one that we have as far as I cover five different counties, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no other school that does a drive like this. We have our own, the students have their own committee that has been meeting since the summer um, because there's a lot of work that's entailed in going this, getting prepared, yeah. getting everything set up. There's a lot of different, um, we have committee members in charge of all different types of things from recruiting to donations to publicity yeah um, they all work real well together and then of course the day of the drive they're all there you know hand, all hands on deck helping us out with that so, so it's a pretty big deal for us yeah Meadowbrook uh, students there's a lot of great kids down there I know I work with them through the Bisel Rotary we have some events with Interact Club down there they're always willing to volunteer and help us out and Zach that's your part here right are you are you yeah. maybe in charge of this event or are you getting it together um, down I'm there? I'm the chairman of basically the public relations so I usually just go out and spread the word to people like this is the event that's going on when it is how you sign up and stuff like that so that's basically my job there's mm -hmm. different jobs for different students around it's like there's different chairman spots for other people to go to mm -hmm. so it's just me here right now just bringing out the word and seeing where it where it is when and yeah. how you sign up and stuff like that and let's talk about that. Uh, Thursday, October seventeenth, looks like. Yep. Talk, tell me about it. What we're gonna, how we're gonna organize that, or you know, how I sign so, up, or. Yeah. So it's gonna be from like eight thirty a.m. to six thirty p.m. and it's just throughout the entire day. It's gonna be held at the Meadowbrook High School gymnasium. Okay. And you just basically sign up through the website. I'm pretty sure. Which you go to him for that. Uh huh. Um, and we'll have it on the bottom of the screen. I'm sure if Adam does yeah. his job. <laughs> so, yeah, and you just, you come in with your ID card and they just go through the entire day. Uh, you always want to make sure you hydrate and don't go in on an empty stomach because that would be very bad if you go Now, in if I like give that. blood, are you offering uh, the usual cookies and orange juice? Yep. Orange, <coughs> we have uh, snacks, Sorry. the orange juice, the apple juice, the water. Uh, and also for this drive, we actually have a special edition T-shirt that every dinner we get. Um, it was designed by one of the students as far as the, the design on the front of it. Um, all the sponsors will be on the back, the ones that have either donated raffle items or monetary donations. Okay. So they get recognized for helping us out with that. And uh, if you make the donation, 
um, you'll get one of those on your way out. Cool. And is this for the general public or is this for students only? What's the deal? This is a general public thing. Okay. It, it happens for our students as well, but mm -hmm. it is a overall public idea. So um, many adults come in even after school hours, usually during like the school day, students will have like a free day. Okay. Um, ways we can do it is like students can donate themselves or they can do the two or you thing, which is you get two people to donate for you to count as that free day. Okay. And then the rest is like general public comes in and see, like they can count towards the two or you members. So that's like adults, students, et cetera, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Basically, that's what it is, and we, our unit goal, usually with Brian, it's usually about 25, you said? On a regular drive. Right, on a regular drive, is about 25. We are wanting to meet 150. No doubt. It's, yeah, it's and meta, each bro. unit saves, <laughs> <laughs> you're right, each unit saves three lives, so if you do the math on that one, there's a lot of lives being yeah, saved with totally amazing. Units, so. And there's nothing to given blood. I've given blood yes. before, it takes what? five eight minutes maybe yep mm -hmm. and um you know you don't have to watch if you don't want to no nope. you can have yeah. a coach standing next to you keeping you yep. know but it's not painful and it's it saves a lot of lives it's a great yes. thing to be doing so yes. mention again how i register brian if you would um there's several ways you can sign up to schedule yes. um you can call 1-800 red cross which is kind of the old school way let okay. them know where you want to sign up and they'll walk you through it and do it over the phone mm -hmm. um you can go to redcrossblood.org which is our website Okay. And it, it'll guide you right through and take you to our website, and it'll have scheduled times where you click on the time you want, put in your name and information, and you, it'll uh, register you there. Or the easiest way, and the way we're really starting trying to encourage people to do these, is download our free app. We have an app that's good for Android or Apple phones. Okay. You can just basically search for American Red Cross blood drives. It'll come up. It's very easy to use. It's very informative. You can have your electronic donor card on there. It'll track where your blood goes. It'll tell you when you're due to give blood again to, to alert you that, hey, you, wow, you know, that's you're amazing. good to go. Yeah. Um, it'll remind you about your appointment. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've ever given blood before, you know you have to do uh, the reading material and answer like 50 questions regarding of like your travels and different things like yes. that. A personal health questionnaire. You can do that on the app before you come. Cool. And that'll give you a little barcode. So when you come in, they'll ask you if you did rapid pass. That's what okay. we call it. Mm -hmm. You can say, yeah, they scan that, and then, then you're on the bed. So if you really want to, if you're pressed for time or you just don't want to do a lot while you're there, yeah. if you download that app, it takes care of all that for you. Excellent. And the blood, does it go nationally or does it stay locally in Ohio? It does both. Um, we have local contract with hospitals, particularly like Southeastern Med. We supply the blood for them. Um, but we do um, transport our blood across the nation. Okay. Um, some people might have a rare type of blood that a premature baby, say in Utah, needs sure. the blood. And the only place that has it right now is here in Ohio. We'll immediately send that blood to them. Yeah. If there's a national disaster such as a hurricane, a flood, a major fire, where they run short on blood supply for one, because um, they're not being able to hold blood drives because of a hurricane, because yeah. you know that's no not way. happening when you're all buttoned down. Right, right. Um, we'll send them blood to have on standby because there's people that need blood every day. Doesn't matter what happens in the weather. They might have a condition where every day or every week they need that blood. So we make sure that everybody does have opportunity to get to it. Excellent. A great cause. And we're talking about Colts for uh, Colts Out for Blood is what we're calling it, right? Yes. And it's happening October 17th between 8.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. down at Meadowbrook High School Gym right there on Marietta Road in Byesville, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with it. Thank you, Brian Williams and uh, uh, Zach Hopkins. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for coming up. And we'll be uh, wrapping it up. Thanks for listening and, uh, or tuning in today. Let's just end it. We're done. Talk of the town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. 
At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. That'll do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. I want to thank Joe Sexton and uh, Ashley Umstadt for stopping in from the chamber. Also, Mary Beth Sills and Mitch Mazza here from CPAC. And uh, Brian Williams with the Red Cross. And Zach Hopkins, one of the Meadowbrook Colts, talking about the blood drive going on down there. And we want to thank you for watching. And if you're watching, depending on how you're watching, you can watch us on YRP TV on Facebook and on YouTube, as well as those channels on your television. And uh, we want to thank this week, well, there's all staff in here. We've got Santa Claus over in the corner. We've got uh, Adam Green on cameras and whatever he does. And I'm, I'm Jim Vaughn. And we want to thank you for tuning in and, and watch us again sometime soon. Appreciate it. Introducing the area's most exciting new gift shop now open in downtown Cambridge. Peace Pipes is pleased to bring you a large selection of smoking accessories as well as a wide variety of clothing, jewelry, health products and locally made gift ideas for everyone. With unbeatable prices and one-of-a-kind products, our friendly staff is here to help you seven days a week. Peace Pipes is located at 914 Wheeling Avenue in downtown Cambridge right next to the post office. Peace Pipes, waging peace on prohibition.